All right, let's get into this topic, which is communication, which is very crucial to any relationship, including the relationship you have with yourself. You need to watch your communications. Now, you guys know I talk about in relationships, there's two major keys. One is my definition of love, which is accepting a person or thing exactly the way it is. I didn't say agree. I said accept. In other words, you, you know that people come from different backgrounds. Therefore, we're going to have different beliefs, different everything, you know, and that's okay. I accept that. So what that does from the communication perspective, it means that you come into the communication with the whole, with your heart, which is the real re way to communicate, and not with your head, which is logic. Because when you talk from your heart, then that means you're, you're here to understand an individual and putting yourself in their shoes. You guys follow me? That's different than trying to prove your point and trying to be right. That's where most breakdown falls in relationships as people are so concerned with being right instead of doing what's right. So again, if you follow that process I just said, then you understand, one, I accept you as you are. So that opens up, I saw this uh, picture on the internet somebody had, they had like two ears, took two ears and turned them towards each other and they came in the shape of a heart when you have like two ears together. And I was like, whoa, and I love that because if you're using your ears and you're listening to understand where the person is coming from, that's back to you're coming from the heart. That's communication. Quit trying to be right. So now, there are a lot of different ways in order to do this. You'll hear people talk about the different love languages. Um, and it's basically, what it's really saying is knowing what drives your partner. or in, in, in all relationships, really, but we're talking about partnership here. But in all relationships, it works the same way. And that's that find out what is it that moves that person. Because you'll hear people when they get into a situation where maybe they're, they're uh, talking to a marriage counselor or something and they go, I gave them, him or her everything. Yeah, everything you thought they wanted. Obviously not what they actually needed or you guys wouldn't be sitting there in that room. Think about it. So that's why, again, when they talk about the love languages, it's basically saying, I need to find what makes you excited and do that. And there's a line you're going to draw even in doing that. Um, and, and, and the reason I bought that, because it just hit me, you know, because I remember being in an event and a gentleman was talking about that, a very successful person. Matter of fact, one of the people I, I is a mentor for me. But he was talking about in relationships, he was using the example of if you have a partner that loves to to argue that makes them feel significant, um, which is one of the six human needs. But if that makes them feel significant, then even though you don't necessarily like to do it every now and then, just pick a fight with them because it makes them feel significant. And I said, couldn't agree with it. Can't, I can't buy into it. The reason is, why would I do something that makes me feel bad in order to make you feel good? You guys understand what? We're going to have a trade-off. I'm going to make myself feel bad to make you feel good. That's That doesn't sound, because somebody's losing. Relationships are about win-win. How can we both win? That's what compromising, when you hear people talk about compromising, that's what compromising is. How do we figure out a way where we both win in this? This is not about win-lose. This is not trying to figure out how to make you feel good and me feel bad, and then you go... Okay, so what are we going to do now that you're feeling better that I started an argument? Now, all of a sudden, I'm feeling bad because I was arguing with you. So now what you going to do? Now you got to figure out how to make me feel. Folks, <laughs> you see how silly that we going to go back and forth, keep trying to make each other feel better because we're making each other do something we don't want to do. That's not anytime somebody is making you go against your beliefs and your morals. You shouldn't do it. That's the way I look at it now. Unless your beliefs are beliefs that are outdated 
and they are beliefs that you need to change because maybe you had some bad programming from the past and it's bad programming and therefore you recognize that that ain't a good way to think. And now you need to make those. Yeah, oh, folks, of course you should make the change then because it's moving you in the direction that is helping you to grow. It makes sense. I'm saying something like that, arguing something that you're against to make somebody else feel better. For me, it doesn't make any sense because I'm a person that doesn't like to argue. We can talk. We have a conversation. And if you're one of those people that you don't, you get all crazy and stuff, I'm out. I'm done. Until you want to talk to me like a human being. That's just the way I am. Some people go, oh, that's wimpy. That's okay. That's why we wouldn't be in a relationship. It's that simple. It's not a good, bad, right, or wrong. It's just know thyself. I know I'm not going to get into that conversation with you. So the bottom line is in relationships, when you speak in the different languages, you got to know what moves your partner. Are they a person that material things, even though you may not agree, and you may say, she always wants stuff. Well, if you know that she's a material person and that's what makes her feel good, if you're going to be in a relationship with her, then guess what you need to be doing? Whether you like it or not, or you shouldn't be in a relationship. It's that simple. But knowing what moves her and vice versa, what moves him, is what you do for the relationship. And that's why I said, if what they need to make them feel to make this relationship works is against your, your beliefs and morals, then you shouldn't be in a relationship with them. Does that make sense? The other stuff is just going to be different. Like one of the things, uh, Terry, for example, she loved to hold hands. And for me, I'm just one of those people when I'm walking, I just like to walk free. And for me, I don't know why, I don't know where I triggered that thought process, that belief, but holding hands to me just kind of, it was like, ah, I just felt restricted. You know, it's like, give me some space. That was my own personal belief and my own challenges. But I knew that made her feel good. So I had to get over that because that's not a moral <laughs> issue or, or anything like that. It's like, get over it, whatever your issue is. So I'd walk up on her, grab her hand or something to come up and hug her or whatever. And you just see her just light up because that's her language. That's how you speak to her. You can sit here and tell your partner all day long, I love you, I love you, I love you. And then you, later on, you guys are talking and they're like, because you don't love me. I said, I love you 20 times today. Well, you, you didn't hold my hand. You guys see what I'm saying? Because that's what they're looking for. That's, that's what makes them feel significant. Now, in terms of conversation, I had, uh, I remember I went to a seminar one time and they were talking about uh, the way to communicate. They were using this as example. The woman said, yeah, you know, like your husband, he's a football fanatic. And so what the wife said is, honey, when I first got on the team, you know, I felt like a star. You had me in the commercials. You put me on your shoulders. You always pushed me out in front. It's just, I just, I was the star. But now... It feels like I'm, maybe I'm sitting on the bench. You don't even recognize I'm on the team. Um, I guess what I'm saying is play me or trade me. Hold up. Anyone that knows sports knows when, when, a, when a player starts saying play me or trade me, we done got into some serious waters. This ain't, this ain't a game no more. If they telling you they're ready to walk, play me or trade me. You go, wait, wait, hold up, hold up, time out. What's this all about? See, because you can't talk to them about what it's like. You know, I feel like a cup of water. I just got spilled on the floor. You knocked the cup over and I just spilled out and you just watched me in it. Well, how does water falling out of a cup, how does that really feel? I don't know. But if you use something that I can relate to, whoa, that's, that's powerful. That's when the guy sits back like, Ooh, and it could be the woman too, because you know, guys, you guys know I don't buy into this male female stuff people keep putting out. It's how the man is. There are women out there that that's the way you talk to them. You talk to them from a football perspective. She gets it because she's the football fanatic. He may not be. So again, I don't get caught into that. The bottom line is speak your partner's language. You know, if they're in the medical field, you know, 
you know if they're truly passionate about their job and how they are about their patients and they care about their patients and you're able to put that in there and share them say you know and i know you know with your patient if you were to leave a patient in the hallway and nobody's taking care of them what would happen and how would that patient feel and it's like we would never let that happen because one and we get sued for it and then you know all this other stuff and the person really gets it and you go well honey that's the way i've been feeling recently what you what what when did i just leave you out in the hall you see now you're speaking their language see to me that's the perp that's what it means by speaking someone's language this is not about men are from some planet and women are from other folks we're we're all from here we're all from the same place we're all human beings if anything learn the, the six human needs which uh you know i've talked about it was created by, it was uh discovered by tony robbins but i've talked about it on a few videos the same thing i've talked about the four personalities knowing the four, four personalities if you learn that you'll really get to know your partner and if your relationship is is uh something that's important to you then I'd say this is the kind of stuff that you should be doing. Um, take the time to read, you know, the, that kind of material. Get my book, you know, or if, if, if I'm not the person you want to hear, go get somebody else's material. But the bottom line is put some time into your relationship. Um, people have this thought process that when they graduate from high school, like school stopped. And it's like, no, school was only teaching you certain subjects that was required by the state or whatever. And those are subjects. That's not life. They're not teaching. What, what kind of life classes were they teaching you while you were in school? I know I didn't get any. Life is lived and you continue to grow. So go, you know, and that's why I tell people, where are the parenting classes? Where are the communication class? Like what we're talking about now. Where are the classes teaching you how to communicate with each other? How to talk to people as human beings and how to get your point across and all that's the stuff that you're going to have to do on your own. And if your relationship is important to you, it's something you should be doing. And it becomes even more exciting when you do it together. Because I know when me and Terry learned the four personalities, we had fun with it. Because we recognized, you know, again, we have all four and you're strong in two and I'm strong in the other two. And we figured that out in our relationship. And, um, and we'd have fun. We'd go out and we'd meet people. And then the first thing we do is go, what? Which personality do you think they are? And we'd be like, oh, so you, oh, I didn't even catch that. You see what I'm saying? We had fun with it because we started to figure that out. And then we could be out somewhere. And um, like if I maybe start talking about something that she maybe didn't think I should be talking about or something like that, she'd be like, ooh, the tea in the air. Or ooh, that was some strong tea or whatever. Because that's one of the personalities, which is the theory personality. Well, see, most people didn't know she had just had a whole conversation with me just by saying T. She could do the T. And I knew what she was talking about. Nobody else knew. They'd be like, man, I ain't never saw you and Terry argue or disagree. <laughs> yeah, because we had our own codes going on. You know, because she wanted to do because she was stability and everything needs to be structured or whatever. And sometimes I'd be like, man, sometimes, you know, that stability be just getting in the way, don't it? Okay, dear. So, okay, we'll just go. People don't know. We just had a whole conversation because why? Because she understood what the stability was. I was telling her, we know that's her strength, but it's also in this situation, this is actually keeping us from getting something done. And because I just say stability, she knows, okay, I'm addressing her strength. We need to look at something. That, you guys follow me? That's when you're speaking diff the language that you both can understand. And why? Because you're learning the languages together. Take the time. Your relationship is worth it. Especially if this is a person that you're talking about spending the rest of your life with. Folks, if you start learning this stuff, you guys can have fun with it. You can have fun when you go out in public and see other people and you just go, whoa, look at that. Well, we know why they're having the conflict because we can see what their issue is because they don't understand the differences between each other. They don't understand because most of the time you see in relationships, it's because the people don't understand your partner's differences are there to help your team grow. You guys follow what I just said? Your partner's differences are there to help your team grow. We take, we, that's why we have the conversation, that's why we communicate. To find out you come from a different world, again, like I said, a different culture or whatever, not world. 
Um, we already talked about that. We know we're all from here. But your culture, your thinking, your beliefs and all that is different. So you're going to share those. I'm going to share mine. And then we just go. We can come up with maybe a third way of seeing it because we put ours together and we just go, oh, well, that opened up something else. Well, how about this? And you see this? But we're working as a team and we create our language that works for us. And as you guys know, it ain't right. It ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Communication is using these two things here, which is basically listening from the heart. Because that means I'm truly here to understand why you think the way you think and not trying to make you think a certain way. I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.